This time last year, we were on guard. Japan had struck across the Pacific. We faced the prospect of attack. The war might come at any moment to our very shores. We prepared our defense. Over the outer waters went aerial patrols. Even children helped to fill sandbags. Our army was on the move. A year has passed and still we march, now with victories behind us. But we're still ready to defend our islands, still on guard this Christmas. And talking of Christmas, here are four young people to whom it has this year a special meaning. Ted Boozy, an ex-driver with the NZEF in the Middle East. William Hua, who speaks for China. Ina Lizienko, Soviet citizen. And Private Robert Benson of the United States Marine Corps. Two years ago, I was driving a truck at Saloon when we were suddenly attacked by the enemy. Unfortunately, I stopped one, as did many of my cobbers. There was no chance of fighting it out, as the enemy did not wait. They were Italians, of course. By last Christmas, I had been invalided home to New Zealand. I had never thought of the possibility of the war ever spreading to this country, but when Japan came in, I had my doubts. However, today things look much better. But we must not lose sight of the fact that there is a long and hard road ahead of us. God's own country is worth fighting for, believe me. And we will do this for years, if necessary, just as the Chinese have fought for their country. Since 1931, my country has been at war. The dark Christmas of that year saw Manchuria taken from us with the same characteristic treachery which was later used against Pearl Harbor. The Christmas of 1932 looked back on the heroic defense of Shanghai, which suppressed the war to a smoldering flame till 1937, when it flared up again in all its intensity. But we fought on with determination, encouraged by many victorious battles, until by last Christmas, we were joined by the other anti-fascist peoples. We were no longer alone in our fight against the common enemy. But this Christmas, things are even better. Yes, this Christmas, we can join with our allies in looking forward to the final victory. Yes, victory will be ours even during the blackest months in the past year. Soviet people said calmly and confidently, just as they say today, that victory will be ours. We Soviet people say this, knowing that there is no fascist army in the world to which we would yield either our freedom or our socialist motherland. The truth of this has been proved during the past dramatic years by the superhuman endurance and determination of Red Army soldiers at Moscow, Leningrad, Sebastopol, Stalingrad, by the self-sacrificing spirit of Soviet workers and peasants led by our wise and beloved leader, Stalin. Hitler must and will be destroyed. And we will come to victory, to just peace, and to a new world of happiness and progress for all based on understanding and strong friendship among the allied peoples, Britain, China, USSR, and America. My friends, as our president always says, the basis of the world of the future has already been laid in the Atlantic Charter. Justice, freedom, and equality. These are the things we are all fighting for. To win them, we free people must fight together. We must cooperate. This cooperation during the last year has brought us victories in Russia, China, Africa, and the Solomon Islands. It can bring us greater happiness in peace. This cooperation has begun. Last Christmas, I was at home. This Christmas, I, well, I'm beginning to feel at home here.